The Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning I is one of the few fifth-generation military aircraft currently in operation. Compared with all the others still flying in the world, it's a real junior, having been born just 16 years ago. Yet in the fast-evolving world of today, it's already in need of some updates. The F-35 is currently flying in the skies of the world in three variants, and they're even younger than 16 years, as 2006 is the year of the platform's first flight. The U.S. Marine Corps obtained its version first, the F-35B in 2015, then the U.S. Air Force, F-35A in 2016, and ultimately the U.S. Navy, F-35C in 2019, F-35C in 2019. In between, countless ally nations started deploying their own versions. The current spec F-35 is powered by a single Pratt & Whitney afterburning turbofan engine, which delivers roughly 43,000 pounds of thrust. F-35A F-35A The engine is potent enough to push the plane to a top speed of Mach 1.6 to 1,000 228 knots slash 1,976 kilometers per hour. Depending on configuration, loadout, and a number of other factors, fuel consumption for the plane varies widely, but according to some might reach as high as 5,600 liters, 1,481 gallons per hour. That being stated, America's top military hierarchy felt there was need for a new F-35 engine to be created. One that may be more powerful, last for longer, and above important, give better fuel economy. Enter the XA-100 Adaptive Cycle Engine, a piece of technology in the process of being produced in the labs of General Electric, GE, GE. It's a piece of hardware build as capable of offering the F-35 breakthrough capabilities. Next-gen combat propulsion, they claim, and more crucially, it'll probably make its way into the world's first sixth-generation fighter aircraft, the so far called Next Generation Air Dominance, NGAD. NGAD. Meant for the F 35A and F 35C, and capable of fitting them without structural alterations, the engine was initially fired up in December 2020 as the world's first flight weight three stream adaptive cycle engine. Most recently, at the time of writing, the second prototype passed testing procedures inside the Air Force's Arnold Engineering Development Complex, AEDC, completing the final key contract milestone in the Adaptive Engine Transition Program, AETP, under which it is being constructed. What adaptive cycle means in this case is that the engine can run in either high thrust mode, providing the pilot with the highest amount of power when they need it the most, or in high efficiency mode, when full power is not needed and fuel savings can be obtained. Speaking of full power, in the case of the XA100 studies have revealed it might be 10% more powerful than current engines, reaching 45,000 off. The difference may not seem all that huge on paper, but it'll probably make all the difference in the world on perilous missions, as it also translates into 20% higher acceleration. When opting to conserve fuel, the engine should be 25% more fuel efficient, and that's a substantial benefit whichever how you look at it. It means the F-35 could need 1,400 liters, 370 gallons, less each hour, if we consider the figures stated above as a reference point. Saving fuel also translates into an increased range, which in this case is 30% more. F-35A with the current engine can cover 1,350 miles slash 2,172 kilometers with internal fuel, but also twice as effective thermal management, as the hardware comes with an extra source of cooled air, but also with three deep printed heat exchangers. All in all, the engine can take 500 degrees Fahrenheit, 260 degrees Celsius, more heat than the current design. More crucially, 
The XSA-100 has been constructed in such a way that if the American military ever chose to feed its planes biofuels, it could run on those just as well. At the time of writing, the XA-100 adaptive cycle engine for the F-35 is still in testing stages. GE is now getting ready to transfer to an engineering and manufacturing stage, although further prototypes will still have to be developed and tested. Estimates suggest the first one should assume its rightful place within an airplane and be flown by the end of the decade.